for the first time in history, we have a male spirit of fiesta. News Channel's Tracy Laird takes us behind the curtain so we can get to know Jack Harwood. Behind closed doors at the Maria Bermudez Flamenco Performing Arts Studio, Jack Harwood practices for this year's Fiesta Pequena. I'm, I'm spending five or six hours a day in the studio. These steps, even the costumes, are supposed to be kept under wraps. If I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> 2023 Spirit of Fiesta, Jack Howard. In April, a panel of judges selected Harwood to be this year's Spirit of Fiesta, the first male spirit in old Spanish days, 99 year history. And it may have ruffled some flamenco feathers. Uh, we did get some controversy. I always heard it was the spirit was the girl and she was, you know, with the white dress. It was all very different. I never even thought that a guy would be able to do it. Harwood says growing up as a dancer had its challenges. I experienced bullying and teasing when I was younger um, and just a lot of stuff, a lot of stereotypes. I was never, never very comfortable with sharing that I was a dancer. He hopes through dance he can inspire other male dancers. There's a couple boys this year that are really young um, that I don't, I, wouldn't, I, don't want, I don't want to take credit for it necessarily, but I definitely think that they seem more comfortable with their dance. As spirit, Harwood fought to be accompanied by musicians rather than recordings during this year's Fiesta Pequena at Old Mission Santa Barbara. The connection between the dancer and the musicians and the artists behind you is what takes the dance to like the next level. Harwood hopes to pursue a career in flamenco. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Tracy Lair.